Welcome to this Friday's edition of Sudoku Primer Videos, where we solve without candidates. This is puzzle number 92 from Sudoku to Go, volume 150. It's a, di a diabolical puzzle. Today we will talk about twins to non-uplets and how you can use them to find numbers. Before we get started, I want to announce that there's a new feature on this channel. Now you can print the puzzles and solutions for each new video. Just look for the Print This Puzzle and Solution link in the description of the video. And then you can, um, when you click on that link, you can just click on a print button and print that puzzle so that you can solve it while we're while you're watching or maybe solve it before you watch the video or whatever you want to do. Now not all not all videos have this feature, but um, all videos from this point on will have it. All right, well let's get started. We're we're going to fill in numbers until we get stuck and then I'm going to talk about um twins to non-uplets and how that how those work. All right, got a one here, one here, so that's a one. So two here, two here, two here, so that's a two. Two, so that's a two. There's seven here, seven here, so that's a seven. There's threes there, so that's a three. We have a nine right here. And I know that because, um, well, first of all, let's put a nine right here. We've got a nine, nine, nine. So that's a nine right there. And uh, now we have a, a case of double column elimination to find this nine right there. Got a nine here, so one of these is a nine. Got a nine here, nine here, so one of these is a nine. Nine there, nine there, so that is a nine. These nines here, using double column el elimination, show us that the nine is in this column, in this box right there. All right, and now we've got a two here, two here. With this nine here, we can fill in a two right there. And then a uh, two, two, two right there. And two, two, two right there. All right, now we've got a gate pattern right here with an 8 going through it and an 8 here. So we have 8, ghost 8s, 8 right there. So that's an 8 right there. And with that 8, we have an 8 right there. Okay, now I'm going to talk a little bit about twins to non-uplets. Uh, first of all, let me make a statement. When you have X numbers in X cells, you have either twins to non-uplets or even a single single number to non-uplets. What are non-uplets? That's nine of a kind. Twins are two of a kind. Triplets are three of a kind. Quadruplets are four of a kind and so on, all the way up to nine of a kind, which is non-uplets. So if you have two numbers that only fit in two cells in a box, in a row, or a column, you know you have twins. Here's an example of twins. We have four, six twins right here. We don't know what these two numbers are by looking at this box and looking at this section, but we can tell they're five and nine because of these four, six twins right here. Okay, when you have three numbers in three box, three cells in a box, row, or column, you've got triplets, like right here. You got four, five, and six right here. Yeah, four, five, six. 
all right? And uh, if you have four numbers in four empty cells, you've got quadruplets and so on. Uh, five is quintuplets, six is sextuplets, seven is septuplets, eight is octuplets, and nine is nonuplets. So I'm going to show you in just a minute how we can find a number right after we find quadruplets. But I wanted to talk about you know twins to non-uplets because I wanted to indicate that it's you can find um, any of those from twins all the way up to non-uplets um, in puzzle in Sudoku puzzles. The higher the number, the more of uh, the less likely you are to find them. We find a lot of twins and triplets, but we don't find many quadruplets and quintuplets and, and, and farther up. Now, quite often, um, twins, triplets, and so on don't help you, but sometimes they do. In this case, we don't know what these two numbers are, but once we find these are four, six twins here, we know those are five, nine twins. And that's what you can do with uh, twins to non-uplets, is when you find some, you can look at the rest of the cells in that section or in that row or in that column, I mean in that box row or column, and, and it'll help you eliminate numbers. All right, here we've got an actual situation. I, I mentioned earlier four, five, six, but this can't be a six actually because we've got a six here, ghost sixes here. So we have ghost sixes there, ghost sixes there. So one of these is a six. With that five, we know the other number is a five. So we have, we have five, six twins. So we know that can't be a five or a six. So that has to be a four. And then with that, with that, um, with that four, we know this is a four. We also knew it was a four because these are five, six twins. So that, um, using twins right here helped us find this four right there. All right, now um, at this point, we're pretty stuck. I mentioned quadruplets that I found and they're pretty hard to see. I didn't see them right off, but if you want to stop the video and see if you can find some quadruplets uh, somewhere in, in this puzzle, go ahead. Otherwise, I'm going to just continue. All right, the quadruplets that I found are in box four right here. So if you want to look at box four a little closer, go ahead and stop the video. Uh, but here we got a three, three. So one of these is a three. We've got a five here and ghost fives there. So one of these is a five. We got a four and a four here. So one of these is a four. Eight and eight here. So one of these is an eight. Now, um, <clears throat> let me put all those together and you'll see that those are actually quadruplets. Three, four, five, eight. Four numbers in four four cells. And with those four numbers, we have quadruplets, and that leaves a one and a nine here. The one nine twins. Let me go over that one more time. Three, four, five, eight. You see how subtle that is? It's a little bit hard to see, even if I point it out. Three, four, five, eight. But those are quadruplets, and that makes these one and nine, one nine twins here. We have five, six twins here. And now notice that we can't solve any of these. The quadruplets, these triplets, or these twins, or these twins. But um, one thing that we can do is use, use that information to find another number. We've got a one here, a one here. So one of these is a one. And with these ghost ones here, knowing these are one nine twins, we know the one has to be here in box five. So, so that is how we use um, 
these quadruplets here and then these twins to find another number. That's a bit subtle, but uh, it's a really good technique in order to find, to find numbers. And you can also find another couple of ones here. There's a one right there, and there's a one right there. Okay, now we had these five nine twins that we rec um, that I mentioned earlier because of these four six twins. That meant there's one six and seven left here. So that is a seven, that's a six. Okay. So now we can continue on because of those quadruplets that we found. Let's look at column one here. Yeah, well, I can't see anything right there. Let's let's look at let's look at column five right here. We're missing three, five, six. Three, five, and six. There's a three and a six, so that will be a five. There's a three, so we can finish that column. Now we've got a 5, 6 there. We can finish those because of that 6. All right, now we got 9 and 5 here because, um, we, and these are 4 and 7 right there, so we can solve that 5 and 9 right there. All right, now let's look at column three. We know these are four, seven twins right there. Let's look and see what's in this row, what's missing in this row. Four, six, seven. Four, six, and seven. These are four and six. So that's a four or a six. Four, six, seven. Four, seven. Aha. With that four, seven, we got a 4, 7 there. So we, with these twins, and again, twins to non-uplets, we know these are 4, 7 twins, so we know what these four numbers are. What are we missing? 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 3, 8, and 9. Okay. Well, this is a 1 or a 9, we know, because these are 1, 9 twins. This is a... Let's see, one, nine, three, or an eight. Oh, here's a one, three, and a nine, so we know that's an eight. Okay, so that's got to be a three then. So that was going to be a three or an eight. Three, these are our quadruplets, remember. Three, four, five, eight. So that's a three or an eight. With that eight, we can put a three in. And then... Here's a 9 there, so we can put a 1 there and a 9 there and finish this row right there, the 1, 9 twins that we knew about. All right. Um, now let's look at column 1 here. 3, 4, 6, 7. We know that's a 4 or a 7. Here's a 3, 6, 7, so that's a 4 right there. With that 4, we can solve the 7 and the 4 here. And we have 3 and 6 there, which we can solve. Okay. Now we're missing... Uh, let's see, 1, 2... Four, five, eight. Four, five, and eight here. There's a four, so that's a four. And five and eight in that column. And then, of course, we can put in this seven here from the four sevens that we had there. Four, seven, four, seven. All right. And now we're only missing two numbers here, three and five. There's a five, so. 
that's a three and that's a five. All right, let's see here. Here we're missing five and seven. With that five, we can solve those. And then let's look at, what are we missing here? Four, six, and eight. Four, six, and eight. There's a four. Six. Eight. So we can't solve those just by looking at them, but we do have four, six twins right here. And with these fours, we know one of these is a four. So the six can't be here or here. That makes that a six. We used unique rectangles there to find that six. Now we can solve the four and the six there, and the four there, and the eight there. All right, now we've got five and nine here. If you remember, there's a five, so we can finish those. All right, now what are we missing here? Three, six, seven, and eight. There's a three and eight, that's six and seven. So we can put those in. And now we're missing three and eight. So eight goes there and three goes there. And we got it. Well, when solving puzzles, always keep in mind that you can find twins, triplets, quadruplets, and so on. Noticing them can help you find numbers you probably wouldn't find otherwise. Remember our uh, three, four, five, eight quadruplets here, which got us unstuck, helped us find these one nine twins here. And therefore, we found the one here, one here, one here. And after that, it made it pretty, pretty easy to finish the puzzle. That broke it open right there. If I wouldn't have been looking for quadruplets, though, I wouldn't have noticed that and uh, would have been harder to solve this puzzle. Well, until next, next video, goodbye.